a daily basis, I wanted drugs, you know, I was like, right after school, I needed to go get something, just a different drug, just to try it out. I started drinking at 15 and I just, I never stopped. We got drunk and we got high on drugs. I had hangovers the next day, we'd get up and do it again. I just thought ramming my car into the embankment on a freeway was going to be the best way to get out of where I brought myself. You can use different objects, a blade to a safety pin. I would scratch at my skin over and over again. One day it just came to a point where I exploded. I knew I was breaking the law and I knew that I was ruining other people's lives, but frankly I, I didn't care. I just remember just like growing up going, you know, why is my life like this? I'd be miserable, you know, and just be empty inside. Watching my mom cry and just seeing that man, she really wanted me to change. I really had no feelings anymore. It was kind of like, well, too bad if, if you know, it's, if my mom cries, she cries. And when I thought about that, I was like, what's wrong with me? Like, I've gone cold hearted. The pastor, he's like, you know, if you hang out with, with Christ and talk to him, and then all the stuff in your life will start to fall away one by one. It's his job to get rid of it. I just said to myself, you know what? I'm tired of having last times, and I'm tired of feeling awful. I'm tired of, of being tired of myself. I didn't like myself, so I didn't want to like others. And I just thought, Lord, if there is any help, in one of my journals, I saw where just two pages are just dribbled with, with blood. I don't know why I did it, but I'd cut more and more, and it just wasn't getting any better. You know, I didn't feel any better about myself. So that night I decided to pray, but I didn't know what to say. So I said, God, I, I don't know who you are, and I don't really know how to find you, uh, but if you're God, and you're there, maybe you can find me. And I said, Jesus, you know, if you're real, like this guy said, take these drugs from me. And uh, I just said, show me. It was something that to me, I believe, happened when I sincerely gave my heart to the Lord. I was able to be real, to be genuine with him about the hurt I was dealing with. And I knew that Jesus was God, and I knew that he was the way, the truth, and the life. And I just had to choose to serve him. When we get that revelation and understand that Jesus died for our mistakes, man, we just were like, I'm saved, I'm like, I'm rescued. I just told the Lord, I don't want me anymore. I need you, Lord. I want you to change me and make me new. When I came to Jesus, all I had to bring him was junk. I needed to ask for forgiveness. I needed to repent of my sins and turn the other way and, and be open to what God wanted to do. I think about how I would cut on my wrist, and Jesus was nailed there, you know, and that was his scar that he had, but he didn't have to. Jesus Christ says, hope is possible, it's there, it's very much alive. I was so relieved that there was hope. I was so relieved that, like, someone really did love me for me. There's no words that can describe the, the peace and the contentment. God's been consistent and He's been faithful. And it makes me love Him today more than I ever have. God proved to me that He hears the heart cry of desperate people, regardless of where they are.